Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets and today I'm going to review the iFly Go Bar and the iFly Gold Go Bar and then compare it to the Mojo 2. Lots to talk about, let's crack on. So here we have Go Bar and here we have the Gold Go Bar. I'm going to show you what you get in the box, pretty much the same apart from the device itself. So let's quickly show you what you get. It does say here on the side that you've got XBase Plus, MQA, so you've got the full MQA options, X space, and you've got a fully balanced performance as well. Let me just open this up. So you get a sticker in the box. You have some instructions that tell you how you set up MQA. Opening up the box, you get some accessories and the device itself. So you get this little case like so and let's just take the unit itself that plugs in like so and then I think what you can do is take one of these cables and put one of the cables that you need and you've got a little travel option there with the cable but I can't see how you can use this you know you can't use this uh, case when actually using the device it's more to protect it and it does have a belt loop here as well so if you look at the the um, gold bar it has exactly the same options except you do get this uh, device itself i'll show you the differences here that's usb-c to usb-c they've also created a apple lightning so you have an iphone or older iPad that's still on Lightning, then you've got the USB-C to Lightning. And if you're needing to go into USB-A, very traditional, you've got an adapter that's actually quite useful. Apart from the warranty card, you also get the guide as well. And it shows you how you can select the digital filters. So on here, this has a little system I'll show this uh, working. So I have tested this on all sorts of computers, MacBooks, Android devices. Um, here I'm going to show you uh, with the iPhone as well. So first of all, let me just show you what you have on here. I don't know how well the camera picked this up, but you have various LED lights that light up depending on what you're doing, what the um, playback bit rate is, whether you've got X space or X space, whether you're uh, using MQA, and all sorts of other functions and when you adjust the volume as well let's see if you can see that there are lights that come on if you press and hold you've got turbo you can have a turbo boost on the volume um, and there's various different functions here so you've got these i call that the the set call this the settings and digital filter option as well you've got your volume up and down you have the IE match so you can do it for the 3.5 or the balance 4.4 normally if you're just using standard headphones you just have that off but if you're using IEM the IE match it is good to actually use it on you have here on this side you have the 3.5 and you have the balance 4.4 so let me just show you so with a pair of Hi-Fi Man, that's your balance. And I have, these are the Arias. If you have a 3.5, these are the Bear Dynamics DT700 Pro X. And you can see you can use either or. And if you have IMs, you can put those in no problem at all. And also the um, mode here, this LED, the different options you get on the white and the mode, it will show you the different bit rates, as I said. Uh, if you want to change the X space and X space, you simply press this button once and then you have X space and there's a red LED. Again, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. Press it again, that's X space. And if you press it again, you've got X space and X space and one press again and they're off. Yep, that works. You can 
have the MQA light that's here. And also you'll find that the volume is synchronized with your mobile device or computer. But if you need more power, you can alternate between the turbo mode, which is a plus six dB. And you do that by pressing and holding these two buttons together. The lights will flash accordingly to show you that you're on. You'll get six LEDs light up. Let's see if I can show you that. It'll be picked up on the camera. One, two, and the lights are there. I don't know if that picked on the camera, but it does work. And then to turn it off again, you do exactly the same thing. Now, what you also have, you have the filter button here. So if I press this settings button here for a couple of seconds, it's now flashing and you can now change by pressing the up or down volume, volume up or down to the different filters. You've got bit perfect. You've got the standard, which is a red. You've got, which is modest filtering, modest pre and post ringing. You've got min, minimum, which is the yellow, which is minimum phase, slow roll off, minimum pre and post ringing. And GCO, which is Gibbs transient optimized upsampled uh, to 352 over 384 kilohertz, minimum filtering, so no pre-ringing, minimum post-ringing. I personally just use BitPerfect. Before we get into Mojo 2 and we talk about the differences between these two devices, we talk about the power output, the Go bar and the Gold Go bar have some pretty amazing output. In its uh, iFi say that it can do 550 milliwatts into 64 ohms and 7.5 volts into 600 ohms. So that should drive a quite a wide range of headphones. As I said, these were my uh, Hi-Fi Man Arias and I had no problem with that. And that's in balance, they're cable for balance. Well, I did try them in unbalanced as well. These are the DT700 Pro X. Again, absolute no issue driving these whatsoever at all. So what's the difference between the, the standard and the gold? Well, this is 329, this is 499. So there's obviously a difference in price. This weighs quite a lot more than the standard one. You can actually feel the weight in your hand. It's a very solid, dense feeling. It's a limited edition, there's only a thousand pieces that are being made. So obviously it has a copper uh, chassis which is done not just for the bling of course it does look really bling um, let me just give that a quick polish being this shiny stuff does occasionally show you fingerprints after a while but it's uh, obviously it's a bit more uh, feels more robust I don't I actually do think it does and having a copper chassis actually creates a bit more electrical shielding and the power supply filtering is further enhanced over the standard versions. There's not too much, it is the materials and that power supply, extra power supply filtering. So does it really make a difference in sound? And against the uh, Mojo 2, you know, is, is, you know, is it worth, well, which one would you pick? And what is the sound quality like between this? So I'm gonna talk about how they sound. You know, you've got features from both. So the first thing that I think is worth pulling out. Let's just see if I can get the Mojo 2 out of its case. It hasn't been out of its case for ages. That's better. So this is quite heavy. This is heavier than all three. It's obviously bulkier. And the first thing is that these are the connections on the back. So you have micro USB in for charging because it's a battery derivative device. You've got micro USB, USB-C, um, you've got coaxium, optical in, and here you can drive two headphones. But notice, um, call don't believe in a balanced circuitry, so it's just 3.5 here. That's their thing. So the first thing that I would say is that you obviously have to charge this to keep it charged. Um, it does have a desktop mode as well, but it's freaking infuriating that it's micro USB. They didn't want to um, sabotage the connections to their other device, the Poly, which I kind of understand, but then they should have updated the Poly to USB-C as well, but that's their choice. Whereas here, it's USB-C all the way and these don't need charging. So really, what about other features? Well, you've got cross talk, you've got some other nifty things and you've got a 
uh, an equalizer where you can adjust the bass and the treble to sort of fine tune a headphone. Whereas on the iFi, you simply have the option of turning on uh, X, turning on X bass to have more bass, and you for one setting only for that. If you need a more spatial sort of presentation, you've got X space. And if you want both on, you can have X space and X base. So there's no you know, messing around into a menu system as you do in the Mojo 2. It's quite straightforward. So in order of, um, I am going to pick a winner. I decided I was thinking, well, there are different devices, different applications. And yes, there is some truth in that. But Gavin, surely I was saying to myself, you could pick a winner. And because I, this time, I think it's easy for me to pick a winner, which one I would keep and I'm going to keep over the rest um, going forward. So I've always thought the Mojo 2 had really amazing micro details. It just had that extra kind of um, pizzazz in its presentation. But it used micro USB, which I know some hate. It doesn't have any other Bluetooth because I compared this to the um, the Gryphon and they're two different devices, really two different devices. But that's, you know, that is a consideration. And then I listened to the uh, Go Bar and it's a very simple device. This doesn't have MQA, which might upset quite a few people. Personally, I don't use MQA and it has a very simple menu system, filter system. It has a very simple way to boost the power if you need it. As I said, I've tried a number of headphones. I didn't have any issue with those headphones at all. Really no issue at all. So as I said, I was really surprised by how much power and how effortlessly this uh, sort of, I thought a dongle actually managed to, well, it's a bit more dongle, actually was able to drive a number of headphones I've got. Well, actually all the headphones and IMs so some Fio IEMs, Shaw 1540s, Sennheiser HG 600s, um, and the ones you've seen. I had no issue, and these were the songs that I used. Really quite surprising how effortlessly this actually drove, and the same with the Go Bar. The Go Bar, Gold Go Bar, that's a bit of a mouthful, also sounds pretty amazing. But then... You look at the bit that all of you will know is sound quality and ultimately my conclusions. So I would say that for me, I am quite surprised by the sound quality, musicality of the Go Bar. Absolutely blew my socks off. Very, very impressive. And I would say versus... The Mojo 2, which is here, um, Mojo 2, with its buttons, you've got to th imagine that that is so much smaller and delivering pretty much a near equal performance. The Mojo 2 does have the edge in a few areas, but that's, you know, more money. And so therefore not a surprise. Now the the iFi uh, Go Blue, the Bluetooth um, little dongle DAC thing they have, this from a sound quality point of view does sound better, but obviously doesn't have Bluetooth. Just something to bear in mind. It's not as good sounding as the Gryphon either, which I had to listen to. So really, um, I absolutely think this is a bargain, absolutely beautiful piece of kit. But the but something that people I know, because I've been asked, what's my opinion versus using the gold Go Bar? Is it better than the Go Bar? And the answer is yes, it is. And it's very interesting because on paper you would think, well, there's hardly any changes. It's just a chassis change, some power filtering enhancements. But it does make a difference. And I know in um, Sony's um, digital audio player, one of the new ones they brought out, they've gone down that, you know, chassis change as well. But they're charging you two grand for that uh, pleasure or something around that, those sort of lines. I can't remember the exact price, but it's really, really expensive. 
a lot, lot more than this. And they've done that for a, a good reason to improve the sound quality. So before I get to that, how do these two compare? Well, the um, differences between these two are, they are as, so the differences between these two are quite interesting. I can tell the difference. If I was going to choose one, I would have the gold go bar because it just has that extra um, enjoyment and musicality that just just takes the go the go bar just up a notch, and it's just as it's you suddenly realise you've been listening. You know, I was testing this, and you're suddenly listening. Oh, that's four hours just gone because the music just comes alive. It's so. It's so remarkably different, and I suppose it also depends on the quality of the device it's connected to. So if you're using a really expensive um, computer that has good shielding, good isolation, there may not be as much differences, perhaps. But I personally like the extra bling in this. I think it looks nicer, feels nicer, but it actually sounds better. Um, is it worth the difference between 329 and 499? That's a hard one to be tell but I personally um, will come to a conclusion on that after I do the comparison with the Mojo 2 and this one really surprised me this one really really surprised me because uh, you know this has got full of micro details but so is the, go, uh, the gold go bar and actually when I was listening to, to my music whether it was classical jazz pop whatever the one that I was uh, drawing the most, and I got my uh, wife to help me do some blind testing, so I didn't know what she was connecting to. I had a longer uh, USB-C cable, and I had a blindfold on, and then she just said, right, I'm now going to play some songs, um, and then she'd swap the device over, but I didn't know if she was swapping it to the same thing to trick me or, or whatever. But every single time, there was no ifs, no buts, everything was being a uh, more positive experience on the um, gold go bar. It's got a lovely sound stage. The, the voices and vocals, they come alive. They're really intimate sometimes. It's got, I think the bass, I prefer the bass. That's without X, X bass on. Turning the X bass plus on is a very subtle change and doesn't ruin the sound obviously with the mojo 2 you can do lots of fine tuning but actually i found there was just everything i needed was on this gold go bar so you know from a musicality point of view enjoyment clarity it had the micro details just something just far more engaging about it and ultimately um this little baby is going to depart and I am actually going to stick with the gold bar over the go bar because this just sounds electrifying. I absolutely love it. Now, you might have some specific questions. Happy to answer them. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Take care, guys. Bye for now.